uh, today I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial for for Clary from Mortal Instruments City Bones, which I handed the angelic room onto my wrist. And um, I'm basing off what her makeup was in the movie when it wasn't, you know, all of her face crying. Okay. I started with my just my regular foundation, Clinique, natural, blah blah blah. And also under it though, I did a little bit of the Clinique Acne Solution Clearing Concealer, just for a little extra coverage. Um, so for eyeshadow, it's a definitely a brown, a little bit of black look. It's a mm, smoky eye, I guess you could say. Not entirely. And this thing is so broken, it's hanging on by the sticker. <laughs> I think it's time for a new one, but oh well. Now, again, let's... I don't know why I said again. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Okay. Start with... Uh, I think I did... I can't even remember doing it. This color, the light... It's kind of a milky white-ish color. And just do that on the lid. Not, not too heavy. It's sort of just a base coat to put the other color on. Now, take this brown, light brown color, and yeah, it's not, there's a little bit of sparkle, but for the most part, it's a matte color, and take that and put that right on top of the color you just put on the white. Don't put it on the brown one, obviously, though. Just over the lid. Now, this one, bring a little bit more up into the crease, but concentrate it. It's like, it's just a lighter version of the color I just used, and it's got a bit more sparkle. And take that, and just a little bit, you're not, this is like a little minor step. You don't even have to do it. And put it right here. On a crease, kind of starting that shape for the smoky V I'm going to do. And then, before we use the dark color, I want to take my Archie Girls Spoiled Rich Veronica palette and take the black from there. Um, just It's a matte grayish black color. And even though this is a brown, kind of smoky look, I want to take that just sort of as under this so the, uh, the, br the dark brown on the corner doesn't seem so harsh. So just take that like that. And don't make it like overly dark, just sort of like a shadow. Yeah, sort of shadow hunters. <laughs> take this dome brush and use this color. Now you can't really see it. There you go. It's like a dark, it's definitely dark brown and it's got gold glitter in it. And it's really pretty, but it is crazy dark and you have to be very careful with it or it gets everywhere and you look like a raccoon. So just kind of just very very lightly dab your brush in there just the tip tap it out and get it again. It is it's it's dark. If I were to just stick it in there and go I would look ridiculous. Okay and just take it right over the black the black you just put and kind of bring it more up and be it out a bit too in your crease. And with this, with the tap it out as much as I can so there's as little as possible on the brush and kind of pull my eyelid back a little and bring it forward almost as if it was eyeliner. Because she's not really wearing much eyeliner on the top. There is a shadow there so I'm just going to bring that in. That and it will look better when it's blended. I will do it in a second. Now, obviously right now it's still really dramatic and so, and hers is a bit more natural. I am definitely um, kinda exaggerating it, but it's much more fun when it's exaggerated. So, 
I'm going to blend with just my fluffy brush and if it does seem too harsh I can add just more of that white color, the off-white, to kind of tone it down a bit. And I actually really like this. And it, if, if, you, if it's too much like this you can always wear a little bit less, make it less dramatic and you can wear it to school and stuff. This is just the, you know. Now I did, looking at it, it is a bit too far out, but then again I am exaggerating it. And um, so for eyeliner, I'm not going to do any top liner because I think, I feel like the, the shadow of that brown is enough because she wasn't there was really no top eyeliner, really, and but there was bottom, and I could, if you wanted to, you could use this dark color as a bottom eyeliner, but I feel like mine's a little bit too sparkly <laughs> for the bottom, so I'm going to use my Ulta Contour Eyeliner, yeah, Contour, in deep brown. I'm not going to use the black, because I feel like that would be too sharp. I want just the black, just kind of... Um, from the lash on the lash line, not on the water line. And if you want, you can bring it all the way in. I don't quite remember how how much it's in or not. Um, but I personally kind of just like to fade it out from like darkest and then get lighter till it's till it's gone. Obviously, because Clary is played by Lily Collins, who has very definite eyebrows and like dark and sharp. And I don't have such dark eyebrows because of my blonde hair. But I am going to just use that same brown as just the same brown as my uh, eyebrow for my eyebrows and just lightly kind of put it on top. So you like that's too dark. And then use my brush to blend. And now this does, I mean, it just gives a little bit more definition to the eyebrows. I have eyebrows nothing like hers, obviously. So, yeah. But that does darken. Like, even, it looks much darker in the camera than it does in my mirror. So if it looks a little silly to you, it's the camera, not me. Hopefully. <laughs> Forgot about mascara. I'm already wearing mascara from the school day, so... I'm not going to do it again, but just curl your lashes, and I'm you, I used Lash Potion by Revlon. Now for her lips, they're obviously not too, you know, out there. So I'm using Outlast Lip Stain in 415. This is just lip marker stain amazingness. And put it on both your top and bottom. And then um, for a little bit of lip gloss and get that gold shine, um, I'm going to use, I think this is Bodyography lip gloss, if I remember correctly. Supernatural lip gloss, guys. Special. And it's in Lux, L-U-X. This is one of like the first lip, gloss, lip glosses I ever got, like real lip glosses special, you know, ones you buy from Sephora or whatever. And it's just a pink gold pretty this. Making up words today. And just put that on. A little bit of that on. So there you go. That is my Clary Frey makeup look from the City of Bones movie. And can I just say, I've seen that movie three times, and I've loved it more each time. I read the book right before I went and saw the movie. Well, I read it this I read it last this past summer. The movie came out in August, and it was it was really good. And I recommend it to everyone and anyone and everyone. They, in my opinion, they did a good job from book to movie. A, f I, a few of my friends didn't really 
like the adaption so much, but I, I personally liked it because they had all the one, like these really funny one-liners from the book that were directly in the movie, which I thought was just <laughs> wonderful. I mean, those are my favorite parts of books, be able to quote these little, these little sassy little things like, swiftly you dismiss our love, or I think that's what he says, I don't know. But that is my completed Clary Frey look, and I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, this is really fun to play with. Well, I'm going off Lily Collins, Lily Collins as Clarissa Frey. Yeah, that's her last name. I think I know that by the time I was on the third book. And I don't know where my mouse is. <laughs> There's gonna be bloopers from this video probably. I didn't press the <laughs> Oh, bye. <laughs> When your soul finds